Hey folks, Sonic fan here, and this is going to be a random hack that's not going to be super applicable, I think, to a lot of folks, but I just like to document things that I do. And this is an old battery pack from the mid-00s, uh, originally an aftermarket battery pack for portable DVD players. What I really like about it is that it's 9 volts, so it actually has a series uh, setup of lithium-ion batteries in here, two sets of three, to give you 7.4 volts nominal, but then it has a step-up converter that converts it to nine. And then, uh, what it's also really nice, it's got this really convenient battery gauge that I really like. It charges over a really common barrel jack 2.1 millimeter 12 volt socket, and then it outputs uh, the nine volts here. Now, one thing that's really unique about this is it has a switch you can see I wired up here, that disconnects the nine volt step up converter when you're not using it. And how this was stock is there's actually a barrel jack in here and it uses the switching contacts of the barrel jack as a switch instead of this as a switch. And so, uh, as you can see, it's very janky looking right now, very hacky from, from back in the day. And what I'm thinking of doing is 3D printing, uh, like a nice kind of add-on plastic, maybe on the side over here, over here that will protect the switch and then adding uh, a barrel jack here. I might just see if I have the original barrel jack uh, in my parts bin. Sometimes you get lucky. It has the correct switching contacts as well. And uh, the other thing too is I don't remember, I think this is probably center positive originally designed, but I actually want to make this center negative uh, so that it can work with PC Engine, Sega Genesis Model 1, and uh, guitar pedals and such. That's where the nine volt becomes really handy. Nine volt center negative is pretty common for old, like late eighties, very early nineties electronics. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take this apart. We'll see what's up.